correspondent uh, Philip Crowther. Philip, simply, what more can you tell us uh, about this ruling today? Well, this is a sure sign that uh, who you put on the Supreme Court of the United States really makes a difference because this was a five to four decision in favor of this decision taken by the president in July of 2017 to ban transgender troops from the U.S. military. The five uh, judges who ruled in favor of the president's decision and his policy were the five conservative judges. And that included the likes of uh, Neil Gorsuch, who was put in place by the president in his first year uh, in the White House. And then, of course, Brett Kavanaugh, uh, who controversially entered the Supreme Court last year. They were part of those five who ruled in favor of this decision. There were four uh, dissenters and they were the four left-leaning judges. All four had been placed in their positions or rather nominated uh, by Democratic presidents. What this means for now is that this is the very first chance for the Trump administration to actually ban transgender troops from the U.S. military. So far, there had been so many court challenges that this was never actually uh, put in place. Now, though, the president gets that chance to impose this. Now, the reason he gave, as you said, at the time was that this was too expensive for the U.S. military, not necessarily something that the Pentagon actually agreed with, and certainly not something that LGBT groups would have agreed with. Now, there is still one court case pending, and that one, uh, we don't know yet when that decision will come. So essentially what the Supreme Court did here is it came up with a stay, meaning that for now the president can impose his policy. It could still be stopped by a lower court, but it would still be taken up by the Supreme Court to really rule a final decision, which most likely, again, will go in favor of the president. This has been a big court battle uh, for the president against many LGBT groups. One of those battles still going on. But the Supreme Court, which of course has a conservative majority now, really made a difference today. Philip, thank you very much indeed. Philip Crowther there uh, bringing us the latest on that story uh, from Washington.